let's start off by really talking about what the outlook is as far as markets are concerned because over the last couple of months itself, markets seem to have got this kind of a range where on the nifty you're talking of a downside around about 56, 5700. On the upside, it's finding it difficult to go above the 6000 level. What's your outlook in terms of the markets right now? Listen, I, I really don't have a very strong view at this point. I, I think we've gone through a very turbulent period where um, the tapering led to, or the talk of tapering led to a collapse in emerging market currencies, particularly those with deficits and a lack of growth momentum. And India was front and center uh, in that group, along with Brazil, Indonesia, Turkey, and so on. And I think that was a full-blown panic that was largely unwarranted. So you had a huge drop in the currency in the market, and uh, it has rebounded right back, uh, certainly in terms of the market, and even the currency has reacted very strongly. So I think you had a undervalued situation created by the panic, but that has very, very quickly gone away. So I think you're back to focusing on what are the underlying uh, prospects for growth uh, more than anything else? And there, I, I think the outlook is more mixed. I'm not, I'm not as pessimistic as, as a lot of people who think that uh, you know, we are at this new normal of 45 or 5% growth. Uh, I, I think you know, we've gone through a very difficult cycle. A large part of that was global, and a huge part of it was uh, domestically manufactured by, you know, really anti-growth policies. And I don't see anything dramatic sh changing, but I think that some of these straws in the wind have been positive. So auto sales have been picking up, exports are picking up, uh, the current account deficit looks a little bit better. I, I think the talk, the political rhetoric is slowly starting to be about growth and governance uh, which is encouraging. And these are early signs, but it's encouraging. I think there's a natural bottoming out of the economic cycle as well. On top of that, there is a, you know, the government seems to have an urgency now to push through uh, some of the reforms that have been stalled, some of the projects that have been stalled. And, uh, you know, the, it looks like you have a pipeline of $100 billion for the next six months. Even if half of that gets going, so I think you will have some growth momentum. So I feel optimistic that we are at the low of an economic cycle. I'm not so optimistic to say that we'll get back to what I think trend is in India, which is 7 or 7.5% very quickly. But I do feel we'll get there. We're probably 18 months away from there, not six months and not three years. So I sort of feel, uh, you know, unfortunately more sheepish <laughs> at this point rather than bullish or bearish. I wouldn't sell. Let's put it that way.